One of the biggest upgrades to the Xiaomi Buddy V2 and beyond, I assume, is the use of a simple cord tailpiece, a huge upgrade to the original, which is just three holes drilled into the bottom spike. As you can see, the tailpiece that comes with the Xiaomi Buddy is black, but it's easy to make your own with wild and fruity colors. Let me show you how I make mine. This is four millimeter diameter nylon braided cord. Uh, it's about nine inches long, approximately 23 centimeters, do the math. Um, and it's tied together using a simple uh, square knot. I use quotes because it's the max of my knotty abilities. <laughs> um, let's tie it on. So what we're gonna do, it's easiest to set the Xiaomi Buddy dough downward then take the cord here and wrap around. From here, make the first loop, do the old tie thing. Check out how to make a square knot on the Googles. Um, then with your chin, secure it, you don't have to, and then uh, make the other end of the knot thingy. Again, Google it, do the old loop around. I know it should be there, cool. And that concludes our square knot. So I used pliers uh, to grip and get it really tight as possible because I don't want it coming loose in shipping. Um, but do whatever you want. You can always make the cord longer so you have more grip and then just cut it off after. But that should do it. So now let's uh, put on some strings. Flip it over. And let us start. Maybe we won't. So we're gonna tie the strings on with a slip knot. So we've got the short end, in these fingers, and the long end, in these fingers. What we're gonna do is put the long end over the short end, like so. Then pinch a little bit. And then feed the long end through the loop in the middle. And pull. And then we've got our a loop here. And then we pull the long end to tighten. So at this stage, we'll have we'll hold the loop here. Then we'll take the other end here. This end will feed through the tailpiece, going out and in. Got that here. Now we'll put this end through the loop we made with the slip knot. And then we'll pull the loose end out and keep pulling until uh, the loop we made with the slip knot tightens. And that tightens down. We'll move over to the tenging end and feed the string through the hole. Turn the itumaki a bit, and then pull the string down, like so, pinch it with the thumb. Then hold this down with the longer end, like there. Then turn, keep turning until the string gets, you know, a little taut. We'll tune it later. Then we continue with the other strings. Let's do it again with the thick string. I recommend starting with the middle so it will keep everything, well, centered. We have a little silver tip here and a no silver tip there. Some people say it matters which end you put in. I don't think it does. I never have found any kind of difference. So whatever makes you happy is what I say. Again, short end here, long end here. Put the long over the short. Put your finger through. Bring the long end through the loop we made. Hold the short end, pinching here, and pull. This loop we have, put in your finger, just to hold it there. Take the other end, like so. Put this through the tailpiece, feed it to the side, then we can grip it here. Um, pull it through a little bit. Now, feed it through the loop of the slip knot. And pull, and tighten. Find the hole in the top itamaki. Then turn, 
put the string down and it will trap itself like so. And then turn and guide the string to this side. Tight enough. Now finally, the sanoito. Short end here, long end here. Long over the short, pinch the two together, finger goes through, grab the long end, pull it through, pull both, and like so. We've got our loop. Secure the loop like so. Get the loose end here. Feed it through the tailpiece. Grab it. Put it through the loop. And tighten. So today, we're putting the San no Ito on the lower itamaki. Keep in mind though that there's two different stringing styles. This one, the Nino Ito goes on the middle itamaki, San no Ito goes on the lower itamaki. The other style is where the Nino Ito goes on the lower, San no Ito goes in the middle. It's purely style aesthetic, one isn't better than the other. However, always, always, the thick Ichinoito, that will always go on the top Itamaki. So here we go. Feed it through, around, and there we go. Your Shami Buddy is strung and ready for noise. Kyle Abbott.